because the last video about this got demonetized for being hacking, I have to start this video with a disclaimer. All of the mods in this video are allowed by both Hypixel and Mojang EULA, and none of the content in this video is in any way or shape or form related to hacking. Mods are the best way to enhance your tablet experience. We've been over this like, what, five times now? That's how many mod guides we've made, and we aren't stopping, because mods are great. With a bit of luck, this one won't be demonetized and age-restricted this time, and it'll actually be up to date. Not a whole lot has changed since the last one, but there's a couple changes that might be confusing to newer players, and it's also just generally nicer to see a newer date on a guide before you follow it. It's like a confidence thing, you know? There is also a new, really cool mod that we will talk about later on in this video. Let's start with a tutorial of how to install your mods. If you don't want a tutorial, there's a timestamp you can skip on the screen now. If you're still here, I'm gonna assume you want the tutorial. First off, we're gonna want Forge. Forge is a Minecraft mod loader, which you need for all of the mods in this video, and it's super simple to install. All you have to do is go to the Forge website, which I'll link in the description of this video, and click the installer button to download the installer. Then, you wanna click keep if your browser asks you to, and then open the file. From here, you wanna make sure the install client box is ticked, and that the file path at the bottom leads to your Minecraft folder, which it should do automatically. Then, click OK, and Forge should be installed. This should then appear as an installation in your Minecraft launcher. If it doesn't, click Installations, New Installations, click Version, scroll all the way down, and choose the one that says Forge something 2318, then Create. To install mods, just drag the .gar of the mod into your mods folder. What if there was an easier way though? As it turns out, there is! SkyClient is not a client, but a Skyblock mod installer that install mods, but is not a client, do not get that confused. Anyway, SkyClick is a one-click installer that you just download, run, choose the mods and texture packs you want, and then close it and it's all installed automatically, because installing mods the manual way is effort. Knowing how to install mods is only half of what you need though. It usually helps to know what the mods you are installing actually are and what they do. After all, having too many mods is gonna cause you to have more lag and that's not good. We'll start with something a bit more basic though, FPS boosting mods. These mods make your FPS higher which is much needed because Minecraft's optimization sucks. The first and most well known of these is Optifine, which you'll also need if you want to use a Skyblock texture pack, and we have a video on those too. This is also the zoom mod that everyone uses. The second and probably less known, but still very used mod, is Patcher. Patcher is made by Steer, who is probably one of the smartest people in the Minecraft community, and optimizes Minecraft massively to the point where you basically can't play without it. Patcher also comes with Essential, which is a brand new mod that's also not really a brand new mod, but it's a mod that allows other mods to use some of its efficient code, has the nicest cosmetics I've ever seen in Minecraft, and allows you to connect to other players across servers with chat, and even joining their single player world if you're into that. Essential is also available for 1.12 and 1.17 if you play newer versions, but that's not really Skyblock related. Hot caching is another mod that can improve performance, and is a lot more noticeable if you use a lot of mods with GUI elements on screen. For the actual Skyblock mods, I'll start with the mods I actually use, and I gotta give the spotlight to not enough updates. If you can only use one mod, you wanna use this one. I would tell you the kind of stuff that's in this mod, but there are so many features that I actually wouldn't be able to get through them all in this one video. Instead, I will have a completely standalone video showcasing this entire mod soon to release with the 2.0 update of this mod to go over all of the features. The main things here though, are the items list on the side where you can view information about every single item in the game, price displays and a massive amount of QOL features, which again, we'll cover in that video, so make sure you subscribe to not miss it. The other main mod I use is Styles. Compared to other Skyblock mods, Skytales is actually relatively new, and it's come so far that it's basically a full mod that has all of the features that an EU doesn't have. 
Aside from being extremely well optimized, Skytales is a completely free mod that gives you dungeon puzzle solvers, a Drifum Borrow Finder, several more QOL things, dungeon repartying, Enderman Slayer alerts, whole lot of things for both casual players and sweaty players. The mod also auto-updates when you start Minecraft, so you know that you're always gonna be up to date. The last mod I use is APEC, which is a GUI mod. This arranges your Minecraft GUI to a much more compact, easy to read form that takes a bit of getting used to, but I ultimately prefer it. It's a personal preference thing. However, APEC GUI elements can also be moved wherever and you can make the game look however you want. And this is ideal if you don't have other mods that give you health bars or other things that you might want, and is all in all a very very lightweight mod. And that's actually all the mods I personally use. My mod folder is pretty empty actually, and I like to keep it like that. And those 5 mods are all I need. There are some other mods though that you could use, and I'm gonna go over those now. Steer's mod collection is probably my go-to place for all other useful mods for Minecraft PvP and things like that. And you can get a bunch from his website. And these include Levelhead, Keystrokes, Nick Hider, and more. There's also an old animations mod in the works that works with Skyblock texture packs, but that isn't public yet. Skyblock add-ons is the oldest mod in Skyblock and has been around for pretty much forever. It's finally released its 1.6 update, which has a whole bunch of dungeons features and stuff from beta versions that you probably already had leaked to you by a friend before. This mod tries to do everything and has so many features like health and mana bars, and several pages of features which you can look through yourself. How about a mod I haven't talked about before? Collection. Collection is a collection of features all rolled into one mod, made by Cow, and adds a bunch of QOL things that other mods don't usually think to add such as analyzing your chests for expensive things, the ability to look through chat logs, displaying the age of items in their descriptions, and a lot of other wacky things that you may or may not want. I really recommend checking it out if you've never heard of it or seen it before. I don't know of anyone else who's promoted this yet, and I think it really deserves some spotlight. If you have some money to spare, there is also the Stablock Extras mod, which is a pretty useful and pretty good mod, and has a whole bunch of features that are especially good if you like sweating things like dungeons. What sets this mod apart from other mods is that it normally updates extremely quickly after Stablock updates come out meaning you're probably going to be the first of the people to get access to mods to help with the new update. However, there isn't much in this mod that isn't done in other free alternatives, and unless you sweat Skyblock, you probably don't need to be using SBE. Links for my own mods folder and mod configs are in the description of this video if you can't be bothered to set up mods yourself. And you can also find a link to all the other mods in the description of this video too. Make sure you check out our last texture pets guide and... Yeah, if you use any of these mods and find yourself liking them, then be sure to leave a comment. That's about everything I have for you today. See ya, have a nice day.